Mars, 55 million kilometers away, is the Earth's closest terrestrial planet. It is a neighbor both familiar and strange to the Earth. For decades, humans have been sending probes to the Red Planet, such as China's Tianwen-1, hoping that the probes can provide a comprehensive and detailed understanding of Mars, just as satellites have helped us to better understand our planet. Many probes have also touched down on the surface of Mars to conduct in situ explorations. These efforts have made humans understand the past and present of Mars and predict its future. In particular, humans may find the answer why the Red Planet did not become another Earth. I am Jill, a digital reporter at the Xinhua News Agency and the world's first digital taken off. Today, we will trace Mars past on its surface with the help of remote sensing images. Our journey begins from the Utopia Planitia where the Tianwen-1 landed. It is the largest plane on Mars, with a diameter of 3,200 kilometers. What can we find here? There are severely degraded impact craters, supposed to be caused by sediments infilling. The fingerprint terrain located in the mid-latitudes may be produced by glaciation or volcanism. The giant polygon terrain may be formed by the permafrost cracking caused by thermal contraction. in the northern hemisphere of Mars, stretching over 2,400 kilometers long and 400 kilometers wide. The winding outflow channels are considered to be carved by catastrophic floods. In the southwest of KCI Ballas, there is a 5 km high scarp. It is part of the Darsus Bulge, which is the largest plateau in the solar system. Scientists believe the Darsus bulge was formed by the rise of underground magma. The generated heat melted a large amount of ice on the surface of Mars. The meltwater finally merged into floods and carved the KCI ballast, leaving all kinds of flushing traces. There are also valley networks formed by flowing water. Their morphologies are much like that of rivers on Earth, with channel lengths usually being no more than 200 kilometers, and some measuring up to hundreds of kilometers. In a word, like today's Earth. Mars once also had sapphire oceans, lakes and rivers. Billions of years ago, a huge change took place and everything overturned. Scientists still dispute what happened at that moment. However, as a result, the red planet's magnetic field disappeared. One view is that, about 3.8 billion to 4 billion years ago, an asteroid hit Mars.
the catastrophe heated the mantle of Mars, which disrupted convection in the red planet's core and weakened its magnetic field to 1% of its original level, almost disappearing. Many researchers also believe that it is the result of a long-term meteorite impact. The Earth and the Moon were impacted as well. But the Earth is much bigger than Mars and thus withstood the impacts. By measuring the magnetic fields of craters of different ages, scientists have proven that the huge change in the magnetic field did happen on Mars. As the magnetic field almost disappeared, the gravity of Mars failed to stabilize its atmosphere and water molecules kept escaping. So the red planet became dry and lost oxygen. With Mars losing its atmosphere gradually, the red planet changed forever. For example, blue light from the sun is scattered by air molecules as it passes through Earth's atmosphere, creating a blue sky. But Mars' atmosphere density is only 1% of that of the Earth. So only at the sun rises and the sun sets can the sunlight pass through the relatively dense atmosphere and make the sky blue. On Mars, the spectacle of blue sunsets or sunrises can be seen every day. Scientists are also assuming that if the Martian magnetic field was restored and the atmosphere was rebuilt, the red planet would recreate a world rich in oxygen, water and life like Earth. It had the same sunrises and sunsets as the Earth. I am John. A digital reporter at the Xinhua News Agency and the world's first digital taken off. Please continue to follow my interviews and explorations on Mars.